Hi everyone. I have two blanks left over from my last video where I threaded at increasingly high speeds. And I had some great suggestions in the comments of that video on what I should also test. So I'm going to do two of those now. The first question came from Tom Scranton and he asked, would tailstock center support help reduce the chatter at the lower SFM? That's a fantastic idea. Let's go ahead and try that. I'll put a center hole in here and you know get set up with my thread relief, all that stuff. The other question came from Jonathan Hendry. He asked, what if you do the thread at a slow speed but do the last couple of passes at high RPM? Another fantastic suggestion. So I'm going to do both of those. I'd also like to point out that I now have an Instagram page. So if any of you guys do that, feel free to go over there, give me a follow. It's a great way to message me directly and then I can respond to you privately rather than just down in the comments. Anyway, let's get started. First up is Tom's suggestion. I'm going to do Jonathan's suggestion and I'm going to do this one exactly like I did in the first test. No center support and I'm going to do this at 75 rpm first because that's the corresponding back gear to 410 and I figure if I'm going to do this at high speed again I might as well do it at the highest speed that I did it before. Uh, that'll show the best results because 75 rpms results still had lots of chatter, 410s did not. Let's see what we can do. I've got all of this cut at 75 RPM and it looks pretty much identical to my original sample. So now I've got it taken out of back gear and it's back at 410 RPM. Now I'm going to do another suggestion that came from Reddit user AltruisticAd2017. He asked, why didn't I just engage the half nuts with the lathe stopped? I really wish I had thought of that. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to do now. My half nuts are actually already engaged. All I need to do is turn on the machine and it's going to start feeding. Then I'll stop it at the thread relief and I'll do the exact same pass pattern that I did on my other samples. That wasn't that bad actually. That was way, way better than the way I did it before. Thanks, Altruistic Ad 2017. All right, I highly recommend that trick about engaging the half nuts while the lathe is stopped. That made things so much easier. Uh, really fantastic, really low pressure as well. I still gave myself a significant lead beforehand just so that I could get a, a feel for how fast it was moving, uh, but I feel like I could probably actually thread even faster. I'm not going to, but I feel like I could. Let's take a look at our results. And first we're going to look at Tom's question of whether the center hole and center support would affect the finish. And I don't really think it did. There. There might be a marginal difference in there, but you can still see quite a lot of chatter and it's on both flanks of the thread. Hopefully you can see that on camera while I twist it in the light. Um, I did it exactly the same, uh, 50 RPM with oil. The only difference is this one had a center support and uh, yeah, doesn't really seem to make much of a difference at all. Moving on to Jonathan's question, this one actually turned out very, very well. Uh, before I switched to high speed, 
it looked identical to this 75 RPM sample. Lots and lots of chatter marks on both flanks of the thread. And after switching to high speed, it is smooth. It's very, very nice. In fact, I'd say it's actually smoother than my other 410 RPM sample, which I cut just from solid stock at all that speed. I love that tip about engaging the half nuts while the lathe was stopped. I don't know why I've never thought of that. So thank you again to Ad 2017 over on Reddit. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like to see me test in the future, drop them down in the comments section below. Hit that like and subscribe button while you're down there. Maybe check out my new Instagram page. I know there's not much on it yet, but there will be in the near future. And if you really like what I do and you get a lot out of it, maybe consider supporting the channel over on Patreon like these amazing people right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my original video up in the top left corner if you haven't already seen it. In the bottom left, there's a video YouTube thinks you'll like. And over here on the right is the playlist of all of my machining test videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.